Hey everyone, it's Drummer here, and welcome back to Minecraft. Last time, we went through a bunch of my old Minecraft worlds. Today, we are touring one of my old Minecraft servers. This server was when the idea of the channel was really taking off in my mind. The original idea was to call it the MC Stormers, which the MC is for Minecraft. If any of you were around the channel about three years ago, you know that the channel used to be called The Stormers, and that's because I eventually realized that I didn't just want to play Minecraft, so I got rid of the MC part of the name. And then down the line, the mix between a comment and some thoughts of mine decided to change it to Andrew Stormer instead of The Stormers, because The Stormers is a group. Andrew Stormer is me, and the channel is primarily me. It's not a group of people. Back at this time, I was thinking the channel wasn't just gonna be me. I thought it was gonna be me for some of the videos, me and my friends for a lot of the videos, which is kind of the case, but then like Steven might have his own videos that was him only. I realized that that was not gonna work for a channel because people like to get to know a person. They don't like when one video is made by one person and a different video is made by a completely different person. You can see the old logo idea too. This is actually based off of a very deep sea underwater creature. So this is a Minecraft version of it. It's a pretty cool symbol if you ask me. It just has nothing to do with stormers. Then we made a hardcore heart and then the Nexus Force symbol in Minecraft from LEGO Universe. These three symbols might be the symbols for the three factions of a series that I am working on still all these years later. But even that idea of making a Minecraft cinematic movie was around even back then, which was eight years ago. We got some horses. We got Shadow, Spark, and Snowflake. Very nice horses, and then we also have one up here, Shadow Knight. Back this direction, we have a tree house that never got finished, which just started with a bunch of jungle trees stacked up on top of each other. You can go up the staircase, and then you're on the first floor. It's inspired off of Jerry's tree, but Jerry's tree is way better. There's a little head over here. <laughs> That's interesting. This is someone's underwater base. This would be a really cool idea for a hotel. Underwater hotel. A bunch of paths all around in this place, a farm. A uh, little outside area with a pool. There's a minion! Scotty Dog Wally. Here's a better tree house, kind of based off of Jerry's tree. How did you get up here? Sheep! How did you get up here? Did you climb that entire staircase? That's impressive. A new day, a new idea with a new adventure. I guess that was my mentality back then. There's a little Star Wars fighter looking thing up here. This is really cool looking. This is an island that a bunch of us were doing a survival on. Here's a lighthouse. I probably made this because it looks kind of like the lighthouse in my building world. Stables with all the different animals. There's an area where you can run around with your horses. I definitely made the barn. And then I definitely made these stables. The market and the greenhouses, I definitely made. I remember making the greenhouses. Split up areas for all your different crops. We have some different boats. This one Steven made. It has a bunch of materials coming in on it. This one I probably made. This is based off of the Fire UK ship that was in the City of Mages along with this one. We have a bigger one with the same sails because that's Steven's ship. This one's probably my uh, pirate ship. These look very much like the one that was in the Halloween map from last episode. So my guess is that the Halloween map was made around the same time, which is probably late 2013, if I had to guess. This is a courthouse square. It has a nice path around it, bunch of trees and a courthouse in the middle. This looks like a restaurant. You got some tables and then some outside seating also where you can sit on hay bales. Kind of cool fountain. I think this is 
probably gonna be a dolphin. I'm guessing that this was the first building that we made and we all shared a house to start on our survival. And then eventually we spread out and started building all our different things. Secret drop. Here um sploosh. What is this? Oh, it's a underground railway. Oh my gosh. We actually did one. You know, you always talk about making railways above ground, underground that connects everything and it, you never actually do it. It's the same thing with building a whole kingdom inside of a bunch of cliffs. We actually did it. Oh, this is a subway. Ah, this is an arcade. Cool. Uh, in a piano and I guess a bar or something. You can get a bunch of drinks and a bunch more arcade machines. Kind of funky looking tower. This tower's Stevens. It's got some stuff downstairs, got water feature. And upstairs, we got a display case, if I had to guess. A Jeb sheep and a mushroom up here. Oh, and that's probably a bell. This is a nice little house here. I probably made this one. Got some flowers and hangout area in the back. And then if you go in, yep, that's my house. And a nice view of the lighthouse in the ocean. Got bookshelf. See, signature bed with the bookshelf and the redstone lamp and these two paintings and the clock. Got the auto furnace. That is the survival island that me, Steven, and Ryland did. This is a house that I made thinking that I was gonna copy it in a Minecraft survival series for the channel. It's a cool location, and so the house is built into the mountain. So you got all your chests, a bunch of auto furnaces, your beds, all the your work stuff, and then here you have your enchanting room. Downstairs would be the portal room. This would be the Twilight Forest portal, that's the nether portal, and then you'd put in like your Aether portal and your Divine RPG portals. It was gonna be interdimensional survival because it, you had all these different dimensions that you could go to. Nice little deck there. And then this would be where all the food would be made and a little scarecrow. And down this way, we have the pen of all the animals. They're all just mixed together down here. We got Jeb sheep and horses and cows and chickens. We got Falling Thunder, the horse. That's a really cool view of your farm. Steven made a little tree house in the savannah. It's very compact. Just everything is right here and you could do a survival out of that. We had a second server, which could have been before this one. And it's really sad that I don't have a copy of that world because we built some really cool things in it. That server, I remember it was right when 1.6 came out because that's when horses came out. And we made a little spawn castle. And then the first thing I did on that server was built a statue of a horse. There's a chance that someone built a statue of a horse before 1.6 came out. But I built a statue of a Minecraft horse right when the update came out. And so I believe I had the first statue of a Minecraft horse ever. There's an area on a hill, there was a little fence and a couple different shops and covers and mine and stuff where the survivors would be, which would be Steven's faction for this Minecraft cinematic. So he actually built his faction base on that server. Further down the path, I built a sort of hero factory inspired building, built some other things there. So that's a tour of one of my old Minecraft servers. Once again, very cool to see what we were building back then and the ideas that we had and to see that back even in 2013, 2014, I had the idea to start a YouTube channel. Within one year of watching my first YouTube video and starting Minecraft, I already decided that I wanted to do YouTube and make videos and already had a bunch of ideas for series that I wanted to make videos of. And those ideas have either morphed over the years or they just haven't happened yet. I still have plans to do these ideas. So if you like this one, share with a friend, and if you want to see more like this, hit subscribe. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.